up guys? Today we are explaining the rules to Yeti Slap. Yeti? Yeti Slap is such a simple game guys. Like a lot of people get a little bit confused, but it is such a simple game. So I mean, why don't we jump into it? All right, so to set up Yeti Slap, we're gonna start by placing the four orange starting cards onto the table as shown. Essentially, you just wanna make sure that there's enough room in the middle for cards to be played. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take the deck and you're gonna deal it out evenly to every player. Whether you have two players or up to six players, every person is gonna get an even amount of cards. And then you're ready to begin. So the way this game is played is in mini rounds or turns. They're taken by placing a card in the middle for your turn. That is your whole turn. Now it starts a five second frenzy to find a match and you try and place your top card on that match. So right now we see we have a goat and a goat. So I'm going to race Zach as fast as I can to place down that match. Now we see there's a Yeti, a Yeti, a dragon, and a gnome. There are no matches. And this is an important piece of the game. Once there are no matches, then it is the next person's turn to place a card in the middle. And that's how fast the turns are. So in this case, there's only one match, that's the turn. Now it's Zach's turn. So Zach will place a dragon in the middle. So again, there's a dragon and a dragon, and we'll race as fast as we can to place down a card in the middle. So now there's a dragon and no dragons around to match. So that turns over. Now it's my turn. I place the gnome down. There's a gnome matching right here. So again, we're racing to place it down. Oh, there's another gnome. So everyone continues to race to play down another card. And that's how the game is played. What is a match? So as you're looking here, you see a gnome, yeti, yeti, goat, goat. Nothing matches this. Often people get confused though. People will say, oh, but there's a Yeti and a Yeti. So hurry, let's match those. Bang. Never match the outside cards to each other. So this Yeti and Yeti aren't a match. This goat and a goat are not a match. It's only the gnome matched with all of these. If there's no gnomes out there, you move on to the next. So there are three different actions in total. The first one is flex. And then continue to play a card down. Flex. Boom. The next one we're gonna do is horns. Where again, we're gonna put our hands, our fingers up to our head, make little horns. And then we're gonna play a card down. Last one we got is mustache. We're gonna use our little finger. Hold your finger up to your, hand, your mouth to make a mustache and then throw down another card. Also, it's important to note that you should say the word out loud as you play. Here is a unique scenario that you guys should pay attention to. If it is my turn and I play this flex card down, now the turn card is this flex card. So everyone is going to race to do the flex action and then they will race to play down a card. And that new card becomes the turn card that you are matching with. So the Yeti is now matching with Yeti and everyone races to play down a card. Now I'm gonna show you how to beat Zach in this <laughs> two player game. <laughs> All right, Zach, you can go first. Okay, start by playing a turn card. Hordes! Yeti. Okay, your turn. Go. Go. Oh, dang. Flex! Try it. Ooh. There you go. Go, go. Go. Another goat. Lots of goats. There are lots of goats on that there were one. A lot. Now there's no more goats, so. Your turn. My turn. Horns! Dragon! I'm, I won. So I only had four left. Zach had that. That's the basics of playing the game. And that's how you do it.